Good day everyone. Today we are going to talk about Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder or ADHD. Uh, we will talk about what is ADHD, symptoms, possible causes, the DSM criteria for diagnosing ADHD, the types, treatment and the prevalence. What is ADHD? Everyone can have difficulty sitting still, paying attention or controlling impulsive behavior once in a while. For some people, however, the problems are so pervasive and persistent that they interfere with every aspect of their life including home, academic, social and work. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder is a neurodevelopmental disorder affecting 11% of school age children. Symptoms continue into adulthood in more than three quarters of cases. ADHD is characterized by developmentally inappropriate levels of inattention, impulsivity, and hyperactivity. Individuals with ADHD can be very successful in life. However, without identification and proper treatment, ADHD may have serious consequences including school failure, family stress and disruption, depression, problems with relationships, substance abuse, delinquency, accidental injuries, and job failure. Early identification and treatment are extremely important. Symptoms A child with ADHD might daydream a lot, forget or lose things a lot, squirm or fidget, talk too much, make careless mistakes or take unnecessary risks, have a hard time resisting temptation, have trouble taking turns and have difficulty getting along with others. Causes of ADHD The causes and risk factors of ADHD are unknown but Current research shows that genetics play an important role. In addition to genetics, scientists are studying other possible causes and risk factors including brain injury, exposure to environmental risk during pregnancy or at a young age, alcohol and tobacco use during pregnancy, premature delivery and low birth weight. Like many other disorders, ADHD probably results from a combination of factors. In addition to genetics, researchers are looking at possible environmental factors that might raise the risk of developing ADHD and are studying how brain injuries, nutrition and social environments might play a role in ADHD. ADHD is more common in males than females and females with ADHD are more likely to primarily have inattention symptoms. People with ADHD often have other conditions such as learning disabilities anxiety disorder, conduct disorder, depression, and substance abuse. Research does not support the popularly held views that ADHD is caused by eating too much sugar, watching too much television, parenting, or social and environmental factors such as poverty or family chaos. Of course, many things including these might make symptoms worse in certain people, but there is not strong enough evidence to conclude that they are the main causes of ADHD. DSM criteria for ADHD People with ADHD show a persistent pattern of inattention and or hyperactivity impulsivity that interferes with functioning or development. Inattention. Six or more symptoms of inattention have to be present for children up to 16 years or five or more for adolescents aged 17 years and older and adults. Symptoms of inattention have to be present for at least six months and they are, have to be inappropriate for developmental level. One often fails to give close attention to details or makes careless mistakes in schoolwork, at work or with other activities. 2. Often has trouble holding attention on tasks or play activities. 3. Often does not seem to listen when spoken to directly. 4. Often does not follow through on instructions and fails to finish schoolwork, chores or duties in the workplace. 5. Often has trouble organizing tasks and activities. 6 often avoids, dislikes, or is reluctant to do tasks that require mental effort over a long period of time, such as schoolwork or homework. 7. Often loses things necessary for tasks and activities, example school materials, pencils, books, tools, wallets, keys, paperwork, eyeglasses, and mobile phones. 8. Is often easily distracted. 9. Is often forgetful in daily activities. Hyperactivity and impulsivity. Six or more symptoms of hyperactivity impulsivity for children up to 16 years or five or more for adolescents aged 17 years and older and adults have to be present. 
Symptoms of hyperactivity impulsivity have to be present for at least six months to an extent that is disruptive and inappropriate for the person's developmental level. One, often fidgets with or taps hands or feet or squirms in seat. Two, often leaves seats in situation where remaining seated is expected. Three, often runs about or climbs in situations where it is not appropriate. Four, often unable to play or take part in leisure activities quietly. Five, is often on the go, acting as if driven by a motor. Six, often talks excessively. Seven, often blurts out an answer before a question has been completed. Eight, often has trouble waiting their turn. Nine, often interrupts or intrudes on others. In addition, the following conditions must also be met. Several inattentive or hyperactive impulsive symptoms were present before the age of 12 years. Several symptoms are present in two or more settings such as home, school or work with friends or relatives in other activities. There is clear evidence that the symptoms interfere with or reduce the quality of social, school or work functioning. The symptoms are not better explained by another mental disorder such as mood disorder, anxiety disorder, dissociative disorder or a personality disorder. The symptoms do not happen only during the course of schizophrenia or another psychotic disorder. The types Based on the types of symptoms, three kinds of presentations of ADHD can occur. Predominantly inattentive presentation, predominantly hyperactive impulsive presentation and the combined presentation. Predominantly inattentive presentation. It is hard for the individual to organize or finish a task, to pay attention to details or to follow instructions, instructions or conversations. The person is easily distracted or forgets the details of daily routines. For diagnosis, enough symptoms of inattention but not hyperactivity impulsivity must be present for the past six months. Predominantly hyperactive impulsive presentation The person fidgets and talks a lot. It is hard to sit still for long, example for a meal or while doing homework. Small children may run, jump or climb constantly. The individual feels restless and has trouble with impulsivity. Someone who is impulsive may interrupt others a lot, grab things from people or speak at inappropriate times. It is hard for the person to wait their turn or listen to directions. A person with impulsiveness may have more accidents and injuries than others. For diagnosis, enough symptoms of hyperactivity, impulsivity but not inattention must be present for the past six months. Combined presentation. Symptoms of the above two types are equally present in the person. Because symptoms can change over time, the presentation may change over time as well. For diagnosis, enough symptoms of both criteria, inattention and hyperactivity, impulsivity must be present for the past six months. Treatment. Treating ADHD often requires medical, educational, behavioral, and psychological intervention. This comprehensive approach to treatment is sometimes called multimodal or depending on the age of the individual with ADHD may include parent training, medication, skills training, counseling, behavioral therapy, educational supports, education regarding ADHD. Working closely with healthcare providers and other professionals, treatment should be tailored to the unique needs of each individual and family to help the patient control symptoms, cope with the disorder, improve overall psychological well-being, and manage social relationships. Prevalence According to analysis of data collected by the National Health Interview Survey, the prevalence rates of diagnosed ADHD among children and adults since age 4 to 17 in the past 20 years are as follows. On the left, it shows the overall prevalence by age group, and on the right, prevalence by gender. Many children with ADHD also have other disorders. According to a survey in 2016, 6 in 10 children with ADHD had at least one other mental, emotional or behavioral disorder. About 5 in 10 children with ADHD had a behavioral or conduct problem. About 3 in 10 children with ADHD had anxiety. Other conditions affecting children with ADHD are depression, autism spectrum disorder, and Tourette syndrome. ADHD Outlook Without treatment, ADHD can make it hard to deal with the challenges of everyday life. Children may have trouble learning or developing social skills. Adults could have problems with relationships and addiction. This disorder could also lead to mood swings, depression, low self-esteem, eating disorders, 
risk taking and conflicts with people around you but many people who have adhd live happy full lives treatment helps it's important to keep track of your symptoms and see a doctor regularly sometimes medication and treatments that were once effective stop working you may need to change your treatment plan some people's symptoms get better in early adulthood and some are able to stop treatment i hope this helped thank you